Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Cyril again. Say hi, Cyril. Hi, Cyril. And yeah, thanks. Uh, we're on our way to Madison, our second trip to Wisconsin in uh, in three days. And I'm a little gravelly still because it's early. And uh, let's see what we can find. I'm not going to film everything, but let's see what we can find and uh, we'll look forward together. Almost there. Almost there, yeah. If we can get past this cop up there that's like shutting us down. Yeah, definitely. We we're, we were flying at 86 miles an hour, and now we're doing 75. <laughs> we're all in the halo zone. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's see what we can find out. All right, we're early. We're waiting in line. Hopefully, we can get in soon. Uh, get the good stuff before it goes. Also got a Miata 1000. I've actually been looking for one of these for years in my size. Probably one of the best touring frames you could buy if you want something that's stiffer. I and mean, they were, some said they were harsh, but they're actually great frames. Four, yeah, another great classic here. We got a Jack Taylor tandem. Fillet braze, pretty cool. Something you don't see every single day. Kind of sharp, AT cranks. A little more modernized than the drive train, but still, pretty cool. Yeah, some people, some of you guys are Mixty fans. That's a true Mixty from uh, Trek from the uh, early 80s. Pretty cool. 420. Plenty of plastic bikes here. We had another Mixty, uh, Moto Pecan Grand Touring. That's actually a pretty sharp frame. Wow. So you guys think that the uh, old campy cranks are expensive? Take a look at this. Beautiful. Yep, Schwinn Team BMX. Schwinn. This is the this is the one to buy. Four hundred bucks. Actually, you know what? That's reasonable. Awesome. Yep. Hey guys, guess who I'm here? This is Lon Haldeman. If you don't know that name, look at your history. Race across America uh, record holder. Yeah, 1981 double right. transcontinental record, and then race across America winner 82, 83. And I did 14. Uh, races across the country, and we've done uh, 90 other tours across the country. So we've done over 100 trips across the country. That's awesome. Wow. And that would be marathon long. Yeah. So Rag Rye, you're in a tandem, and I was keeping up with you until we hit the flats. And I guess, yeah. is it your wife? I'm sorry. The... Susan? We lo yeah, we lost you. You were gone. Oh, you were okay. flying. That, was, that was, must have been a long time. That was at Rag Rye 1984, I think it was, or five. Right. Is that what you call that? We got a ride, ride? I hope you were. Well, it might have done something else. Okay, <laughs> maybe another ride. Actually, maybe Harmon Hunter? Yeah, Harmon Hunter. Harmon Hunter, I was yep. wrong. Harmon Hunter. Yep. All right, well, thanks so much. Great to okay. meet you. Okay. Check this out. He has a pretty good collection here. Some vintage tracks and Eddie Merckx. Look at that, 760, 750 track. Some cool, cool bikes. He's got a pretty good lineup here. I got a Merckx. Check out that RB guys, that's pretty sharp. Where's my size there? Consider it. Love that green track. You got a Bonotto? Because this is kind of San Rancho Central. I'm here with Brad. Check this out. This is totally cool. Oh, you got the, the provenance all the, all there. The paperwork. We got ourselves a Hudai Power Cam, boys and girls. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of a technical version of Biopace, I guess to put it quickly. But yeah, great piece of history. That is so awesome. With the big old glitch in the stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another bike you don't see very often. You got a Team Mayata track bike. That looks like later 80s looking at the, um, the way it's equipped in the decals. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the track bikes are out in force today. Here's a, looks like a mid 80s track bike. Pretty cool. Nice wind paramount. Pretty sharp. Record. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not familiar with these guys. If you do, if you are familiar with it, please uh, put it in the comment section below. Got some Nervex lugs. Looks pretty sharp. And uh, it's like a track fork. It does have a hole in the front though. It's got it's got the horizontal drops. A track bike there. Pretty cool. Hey, just came across a really cool bicycle. Check this Chanelli out. Beautiful bicycle. It's got the suicide shifter. First generation camping tires. Really sharp, beautiful brakes uh, or bike. I'm not sure if that's a correct brake or not. Maybe you guys can tell me. Is that the right brake for this bike? Beautiful saddle. What a piece of art. Look at the lugs. Just beautiful. Love it. Real vintage. That is the real deal. Now check this out, guys. That's something you see every day. 
a Raleigh Clubman from 1947. Thanks, Vanna, for turning that for me. Three speed. Look at the lug work on this thing. Obviously, you know, made in a Raleigh factory. You got the cool fenders. That is the correct handlebar. That is the correct brake lever. For us who don't know this vintage, I don't know this vintage, this is all correct. I'm learning. Got the pump pegs on it. Now this is kind of cool. If you know Stormy Archer, you know they have the special uh, nut on the back with the indicator nut. That one's got a wing nut on it. You just don't see it. I've been doing this forever and I've never seen it. Totally cool. Check this out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Good find. Oil. Good, oil. good find. Oil. Yeah, because the Zerk fitting or the oil. Uh, you put oil in. Oil in. That is so neat. Yeah, I've seen those before, but I never, I never seen this bike. This is cool. Got the big lights on it. Really cool lug work. Yeah. Brooks saddle, of course. Even the decals are, are uh, perfect. This is a rare bird, guys. Thousand bucks. It's out of my purview. It's not my normal thing I would collect. What else are you showing me? Reynolds. <laughs> Look at that old. Look at that old Reynolds decal. What a freaking hoot. Even comes with like tool kit. It looks like the oil, maybe the oil injector as well. That is really neat. Oh, original tool kit? Yeah, original tool kit. Wow. Yeah, here's a couple winners here. We got ourselves a Rossine. Rossin? Rossin? Rossine? You tell me how to pronounce it. Because I know you'll do that anyways. Beautiful bike. A Melton? I'm not even familiar with that, to be quite honest with That's out of my purview. Um, oh, yeah. Candale with a Sante group on it. I'm actually coveting a Sante group right now. The, uh, how much for the Candale with a Sante group on it? Want to pull it out of there? Yeah, we can. Oh, so heavy. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. All right. The reason I'm looking at this, the reason I'm looking at this is I'm looking for a Sante group, and honestly, it's pretty clean as they come. Frame set's not my size, but it doesn't matter. That's pretty sharp. Modelo cockpit, still not my size. Nice. Put a message in the, in the section below if you want that. It's got one scratch lever, and otherwise, nice. Interesting though, Matrix. That's an oddball for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Guys, three hundred dollars. It's a no-brainer, just for the parts alone. Frame for sale. <laughs> three hundred. I'm running out of money. You're welcome. Good value. Enjoy. Do you know what sale is? Thirteen. Yeah. Thousand. Okay. Snow. But it's still good time to buy. Well, guys, <laughs> I got a bike for the parts. You just saw me kind of pick that up. I got this kit. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, and uh, that's pretty unique. And I got a bag full of parts. I'll show you when I get home. I'll we got three Cannondale touring bags. We did our best to fill them up, and they're pretty heavy. We did well. Yeah, very heavy. Well, I bought new old stock uh, Regina chain and freewheel. And then another new old sock freewheel. Who knows what else? I can't even remember. Oh man. There's a blur. It's like Christmas. Hey, can I borrow a hundred bucks from someone? Just <laughs> minimal it to me. <laughs> For gas. Alright, let's unload. I'll show you what I got. I got a pair of triple T bars, about five bucks. They should polish up pretty well. Kinda hoping that fits on my uh, Italian, the white Italian that I have. Italia? 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 Something. Alfredo Bindas, baby. That's you, pretty good price. Quality. That was pretty good. That was a good buy. A couple uh, lightweight silk uh, tires. Uh, so Victorious. Yeah, Victorious. This is going to go on one of the bikes that, that's hanging up. Probably never arrived to be quite honest with you. Some bottom bracket sheaths. Some of you guys notice that my bikes, some, some of my bikes don't have them. For the Paramount that I'm getting painted, look at this. Does that look new? Hold that still for a second. Oh, look at that. That's sharp. It's a great shape. And uh, looks good. So, got a good deal on that. And I forgot almost everything that's in here. Oh, 
Mado levers. And that's actually for the Trek 970 yeah. uh, that has scratched up gold ones, so pretty happy about that. So, so far everything pretty much has a purpose. And these are, I'm always spreading uh, rear triangles to 125 millimeters. That's good tools. And this is, this is it. Tool. Cyril found these. And I got some drop out alignment. Uh, pretty happy about that. Finally own a pair of those. The doggies are happy about those. What's that? The doggies are happy about dogs the, love them. the bottom bracket tool. Uh, and and uh, the uh, dropout tools. Brooks? That's clean. Copper rivets, right? Wow. Is that copper? Yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah. the rails. So another bottom bracket sheath, just because. I'm short on those. There's more. There's more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. New old stock, Suntour Superb Pedals. In the box, boys and girls. That's probably going to the display case, to be quite honest. I haven't even noticed. Oh, a pair of Campagnolo skewers. That's why I like, that's why I love these swap meets, 20 bucks. Wow. And they're all, what are they on eBay? This 70? is like Christmas. It's like Christmas. And for me. <laughs> what I get for you? Uh, he uh, stayed out of your hair for six hours. Yeah, I stayed out of your hair. <laughs> uh, new old stock Regina Freewheel. That's going on the uh, Paramount that's getting repainted. And the matching chain. So we got a Regina Aura chain in gold. New old stock. And for uh, inventory, a new old stock Winter Freewheel. It's the Ultra 6. Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't catch that. I heard you talking about that with oh, him. Oh, look at this. What's now, that? Cyril got this Cannondale bag. Oh, look like at that, the original. Bucks. It actually has the directions. That's wow. pretty cool. That's a single rear pannier bag. Right. That these I, these I, are for the front bags. So if you look at it, that's uh, for the front bags you bought. I couldn't pass it up. A single rear pannier for five bucks and the pair of front bags for 15 Yeah, which you can turn around and sell for a couple hundred. Oh, yeah, and you could, oh, this is um, Emus PA. You, oh, you get subscribed to Bicycling Magazine cheaply, cheap to, for tw thir tw 18 issues for $25. <laughs> Here's some history. Yeah. All right, guys, check this out. This is kind of neat. Some of you guys have seen this before. It's a limited edition set. We got the you know, there's a name for the blue, and I don't know what it is. It's probably on the box. Um, oh, here it is Colt Turquoise Enamel Saddle. Wow. Beautiful saddle. With the matching tape and the tool and the little bag. Pretty cool. It's got to be a pretty rare color. Let me zoom on that. That actually is a fairly rare color. Wow. And uh, it's kind of an odd color. We can hardly, you, I honestly don't know what's going on. Uh, the Sante group, I maybe put on a frame that matches it. You know, it all goes together with the It Sante would go group. well with something with a white group, though. It would. It's sort of like gray or, you know, like a gray, a nice light, light silver or something. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's that's the hall. It, it it matches your clock pretty well behind you. Yeah, at least this is no, matches it, the kitchen. Yeah, it complements it. Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, thanks to Cyril for coming along and a lot of fun. It was a great road trip. The uh, second Wisconsin road trip in three days. Yeah, saw Richard Schwinn a couple days ago. You'll see a video on that. And uh, are you going to come to the um, yes. the Chicago show? Oh yeah. So actually, literally five minutes down the road is the uh, the Chicago bike swap. Um, and uh, I think uh, Bike Rack in St. Charles is running that show. So guys, come to that show. Come meet me there. We'll see you soon.